just as there was a situation where we encountered indeterminate products, um, when evaluating limits, you may also uh, encounter uh, what we call indeterminate difference form. And basically what this says is that if you have some limit as x approaches a of a function f of x minus g of x, and after you evaluate this limit, if you get infinity minus infinity, we call this the indeterminate difference form. Okay? And if we see that we have an indeterminate difference form, just as we did with indeterminate products, it allows us the opportunity to rewrite the original limit in such a way that we get um, one of the fundamental indeterminate forms, 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So we'll rewrite those up again, 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over infinity, which is our fundamental indeterminate forms. So basically, we, re we basically want to rewrite the function so that we get the limit uh, as x approaches a uh, over f of x divided by g of x so that we get either 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So let's do an example to see how we can do that. Let's say that we have Let's say that we have the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left of secant x minus tangent x. Okay? And we see that if we do direct substitution, we get the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left, and we can rewrite the secant as 1 over the cosine of pi over 2 minus uh, the sine of pi over 2 divided by the cosine of pi over 2. Okay? And this was just rewriting the tangent as sine over cosine. And if we go ahead and evaluate that, basically as cosine approaches pi over 2 from the left, um, we get 0. So this would be 1 over 0 minus, so the sine of pi over 2 approaches 1, and the cosine again approaches 0. So we get 1 over 0. And indeed, if we take the limit of 1 over 0, uh, we get infinity. And this is also infinity. So indeed, we get the indeterminate difference form that we showed up here. So this is an indicator that we want to rewrite the limit uh, in such a way that we get one of the fundamental indeterminate forms. So how can we do that? Well, I kind of already did it here. And so uh, let's go ahead and rewrite the limit so that we have it uh, written like this. So now we have the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left of uh, 1 over the cosine of x minus the sine of x over the cosine of x
and we know that that's equal to our original limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left of secant x minus tangent x. Okay? Now, let's do a little bit of algebra to make, make it look a little bit more simple. Uh, x approaches pi over 2 from the left. Basically, we have a common denominator here, so we can just rewrite this as sine of x. I'm sorry. Rewrite it as 1 minus the sine of x over the cosine of x. Okay? And if we evaluate this limit as we, we see here, what do we get? we get 1 minus we get 1 minus 1 we're putting in, in uh, pi over 2 for in, 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 in x here we get 1 minus 1 over uh, 0 which is basically 0 over 0, which is one of the fundamental indeterminate forms, which is what we want so that we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So now that we have that, let's apply L'Hopital's rule, where we set f of x is equal to 1 minus the sine of x, and g of x is equal to the cosine of x, and the derivative of f is equal to the derivative of sine x is cosine x. We have a negative, so it's minus cosine x. The derivative of g, the derivative of cosine x is minus sine x. Okay, so we can rewrite our limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left as the derivative of f over the derivative of x, I mean, sorry, g, which we get minus the cosine of x over minus the sine of x, okay? And we can evaluate this. So this is the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left of minus cosine of pi over 2 divided by minus sine of pi over 2. And what do we get? The limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left. Again, the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So we get 0. And uh, the sine of pi over 2 is 1. We have a negative, so it's actually negative 1. It doesn't matter because 0 over any number is actually 0. So, this is an example of the uh, indeterminate difference form, where originally when we did, when we tried to evaluate the limit, we got infinity minus infinity, which gave us our indeterminate difference form. We wanted to rewrite that so that we could get an a uh, fundamental indeterminate form of 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over infinity. We did that here. And basically our uh, rearranged limit was this here. And when we evaluated that limit, it gave us 0 over 0, which allowed us to use L'Hopital's rule. Um, applying L'Hopital's rule, uh, we got the derivative of f and the derivative of g. And rewrote the limit, and when we evaluated that limit, we actually got an answer of zero.